be largely a rec session as I'm just getting things started and kicked out. I will talk quickly. Um, yeah, the goal sort of today, this session, number two, uh, rep session. Uh, Tuesdays are hard because it sort of eats into my day by teaching, so I'm not um, really able to um, do my usual um, four sessions, three, three sessions that I like for the other day. Um, so I'm starting to do two makes this a lot rep heavier. Um, yeah, I'm just getting the last couple things ready, and then we're good to go, and I'm going to jump in, and it'll be a good time, let's play some porn, accomplish things. Our first session today was really um, quite positive, I think, um, in what was accomplished. So, we are... Uh, Continue that trend. We're going to get started the way we usually do, um, just doing sort of a general uh, re warm up, if you would. What that means for me, some scales. Y'all know how I love my scales. These are my diet box. We're going to give it a little roll. And we're going to get started with a six on the dice, which is, let me get my cheat sheet up, F major. Um, much like the first session, it's it's sort of open. We'll do largely thirds. Um, so forget this is our rewarm up second session of the day. There we go. Wasn't great. <laughs>
so. come back in um, and then whatever we get next will be flutter scale sending flutter scale all right let's see what we get roll the dice it's oops, a five all right e major descending flutter scale Just stuff we're going to be working on rep and um, um, rep and the scale the scale work. So let's start with scale work because we're in keys. We're thinking about keys. I have to go to my drive to grab it. Um, let me change. Ugh, there we go. Let me pull it up. There we go. There we go. Okay. So it's really small. Um, you can go to my website, matthewsjameshorn.com, go to the download section, and it's there. Um, it's free. It's whatever. So how these work, um, so this is taken from a lick. Um, Mahler, Mahler 4, we know and love this one. Right, comes up right away at the beginning. It's not that hard. I guess if you're a younger player or something, it can be some challenges with it, but um, as someone who's played a while, um, it, it's not, there's nothing that challenging with it. And there's lots of details we want to catch. Right? Ooh, there, 72. What I like to do, um, I wrote this out, usually I would try to do this in my head, is play it in all the keys. Play in as many keys as you can, registers and octaves, um, to gain fluency in the scales. So the goal isn't just learning it, it's to see how many keys can I do with it. So, we're just going to start, we're going to work our way through.
so again, you're just you're, you're taking a segment from an excerpt and doing it in all the keys. Um, that way you're getting fluency in not just the notes. Again, it's not hard. You know, I, I had some issues with the, the one in A flat major, but it's not bad. So we're going to do it one more time. The metronome. Um, now I want to give it more shape. That's how it is in the orchestral part. Um, so I was gonna get it happy with the phrase. Just 
working on playing this, and it, it's not that hard. Again, like I said, it's a pretty straightforward lick, um, but just getting fluency in all the keys makes it a little easier. Um, I do this a lot whenever I'm working on excerpts and stuff. <laughs> So it breaks the monotony of always doing the same thing, right? If I just had to work on that and do that a hundred times, I'd just I'd give up. So this is nice. You, you get to develop your key fl fluidity. Um, if you play music a lot, I do that. You get parts where it'll be like, hey, the understudy singing today, and the understudy sings in a different key, and you you know you have a book for the understudy, um, which means you're uh, reading different music. Usually a different key. Alright, so X up next. I'm gonna pull down this musical example because there's no reason to see it. Um, tomorrow I'm out in Banff teaching and we have to play a solo. Where am I behind? Uh, this is, I, didn't teach, I do teach tonight, so I, this is a short session. Um, I'm gonna run through what I'm playing tomorrow. Um, it's an etude out of the 13th Unlucky Etudes, which is really fun. Um, I try to do it, oh, it's an awkward page turn, but they're not taking too long. Yeah, I'm just in rehearsal. There's a couple measures in there that were not good. <laughs> Um, there's only this 
stomping thing that you do, but I don't move because I can't. Um, I'm gonna be right back. I just heard someone at the door. I need to get out. So I'm gonna flip to a uh, different stream. Now I have fixed it. All right, so. Um, sorry, I just a bunch of emails about rehearsal tonight. Okay, um, so I'm gonna look at the one more section that kind of gave me a whoa. -oh. Um, and a whoa, -oh, a whoopsies. Um, then we're gonna run it one more time, and I'm gonna. See, there's supposed to be this stomping thing that I haven't practiced. But I'm going to do it in the empty measures. I think I can make it work. Okay, so I'm going to practice the one that's going to me up. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, I'm gonna... Why I haven't imported it? Wow, it's weird. I'm gonna import the secret garden. There it is. And that should be open in music sheets. Import it. Secret... Oh, it was right there the whole time. Alright, so I'm... Um, so I was working on this last night with the cast recording. Um, just to, to get a feel for where tempos could be and such. It's not the best thing in the world, but it works. It's, it's great. Um, um, so I'm going to start... Oh, what this means. What is Matt doing? He's just speaking out loud. Um, so I'm currently working on Secret Garden. Cool. Yeah, I got like 15 minutes. I'm gonna work on the secret garden. Um, please play. Please, oh, Mr. App, please work. My app is not working. Now is it working? It is not working. Close app. Tonal energy. I would like to work on secret garden. Uh, we're gonna see if it happens. There we go. Metronome 72. And battery low. Okay. Ba -ba -ba -da -da. So it's really slow, just drilling technique, getting into the technical stuff.
Um, every so often we're going to make riffs, take up the, the slur, put the tongue on it to make sure each note's where it sits. This was fast. Yeah, I remember from the cast recording. So really, for the, as I begin it, in my ear at the right tempo, I was surprised by how quick this was. It says pensively, and it's in four. And I was like, oh, it doesn't mean fast, too. Yeah, my, my Tuesdays are hard. You know, I, I have to teach at night. Usually I teach in the day, so it's closure. Um, thanks for stopping by. As always, don't forget to follow over wherever it is somewhere. Uh, I'm going to probably start putting together some, like, highlights. Um, I'll stream throughout the week because I'm keeping track. I'm like, oh, hey, that was a good concept. Hey, that was a great question. And I want to kind of share that because that's a little easier than, you know, tuning in for a whole hour multiple times a week. So try to make that out there. Try to increase engagement that way, but, you know, simple time. Bye. Oh, sorry, I won't be back tomorrow because I'm teaching out in bed. I might have an early one. I have to look at the calendar, actually. Let's see before how much I lie. Two o'clock in the afternoon. Ah, I'm going to do a morning session, I think. 
Potentially we'll be doing a morning session. Here. I will do one regardless, just will I share it? So, uh, until then, au revoir.